Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sopal and welcome back to Photo Photoshop Magic. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about a creating a brand new project of uh, creating a vertical panel effect of uh, famous people that I admire. And in this case is uh, Jessica Alba. Okay, so she is also known for um, uh, playing in a movie called Fantastic Four, Invisible Woman, and many other movies. So she is an American actress and a businesswoman. She's been starring in, like I said, a lot of movies. And the ones I've seen is the Fantastic Four and the Rise of the Solar Surfer. And also the regular, the original Fantastic Four. She also starred in that one. And some of her other movies are uh, Dark Angel, Sin City, and LA's Finest. Okay, so as you can see in the before and after, uh, we have just a regular photograph of just Jessica Alba smiling. You know, the most beautiful smile she got in that one. Uh, and I was able to create, you know, a, a panel effect of of Jessica Alba. Okay, and as you can tell, the third panel I was able to make it a little bit bigger, so it just it covers her, her her whole face, so it doesn't get covered. And um, yeah, I was able to complete the rest and making it look cool. And there you have it. Okay, so yeah, so without further ado, let's uh, get started. Let me just come over here real quick. Okay, so yeah, so if you have never seen any of my other videos before, this channel focuses on the magical and creative power of Photoshop, and it is designed for anybody who has no prior knowledge to get him or her excited and aspire to master Photoshop at the basic and intermediate level. Okay, so if you want to see more videos of the basic and intermediate level of Photoshop, consider subscribing, like, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a video the moment it's, it's posted. Okay, so if a video is too detailed or slow, you can always just speed it up. Two times speed. I know my introduction does take up to three to five minutes, sometimes mostly on the higher end. So if you want to skip ahead, go ahead and, uh, and do so. And as always, use websites that use the license that states that we are free to use, share, or modify it even commercially for the content. Okay, and note that this video may contain affiliate links in the near future in the description below. Thank you very much for the love and support. And as a disclaimer also, you know, this means that if you do click on any of the products in the fill link, I will receive a small commission for connecting you, the buyer, with the seller. That provides a special link for this channel. So this helps support the channel and allows more amazing videos to be created. And everything I say or write in this channel is my own opinion. So please do your own research before making any purchase decision. Okay? Thank you for the love and support. And below, you can also find me on Facebook. Uh, through the link, it will be in the, the link below. Okay, so the license and attribution and let me show you where I got the image from okay so it's right here of Jessica Alba from Flickr and if we were to scroll down uh, the author is uh, God Kiss Kidmore and then we got the title and what the event was you know of Jessica Alba speaking of 2014 San Diego Comic Con and if we come to the right right here we'll be able to see the license we right click on it and left click on the open link in the new tab we'll be able to see that it's an attribution share like which means that we're able to do these things as long as we give the appropriate credit, provide the link to the license, and indicative changes were made, which we did. Okay, so in here. All right, and also I was able to get my um, the background image for the before and after text in here also. Okay, all right, sweet. So without further ado, let's get started. We are going to open up Photoshop. Okay, just double click on it, have it open. Sometimes it does take a little while. So let me just show you uh, what we're trying to accomplish here. So we were to come back to the thumbnail, we'll be able to see that the shadow is uh, kind of like a turquoise color. And then we have the inner, inner shadow right here as blue one. Okay, so I'll try to replicate as much as we can. But again, we are doing this live, so you know it's going to look a little bit different. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this open, we are going to go to File. We're going to go to Open. And then we are going to go find Jessica Alba. So right here, Content. And I named it Jessica Alba. You know, as for the JPEG name, so it makes it a lot easier. So we're going to click on Open. Okay, so there we have it, okay? So the very first thing before we do anything else, we just want to make sure that the background layer is, uh, every layer is named, so it makes it a lot easier. So 
in the moment that we do get a lot of layers, which we will later on, it, it will make it a lot easier, okay? So we're going to double click on it. We're going to name it Jessica Alba. Jessica A, okay, for Alba. We're going to click on OK. And as you can see, it got named. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make a duplication of the Jessica Alba copy right here. And to make a duplication, we want to hover over it, left click, hold and drag, get down to this plus sign with a square around it, okay? And then we're going to release. And if done right, you should be able to see Jessica Alba A and Jessica A copy. And we want to make, uh, we want to make sure that the Jessica A copy is highlighted before going on to the next one. The next one that we want to create a brand new fill, a layer adjustment. And to do that, we have to come down to this half moon shape right here. We're going to left click on it and then uh, click on solid color. And the effect that we want, we want it to be white. Okay. So and then we click OK. After that, you know, I've done right. You should be able to see a chain right here with uh, two different backgrounds in the back. And as you can see, the in the main area right here, it's all white because of this fill. So we want the Jessica A copy to be on top because we want to make changes to it, okay? So we're going to left click on it once. We're going to left click, hold, and drag it up until we see this turquoise line above it. And then we're going to release. So now Jessica A copy is on top. So make sure that the uh, Jessica A copy is, is highlighted before doing anything else. If not already, it should already be. And we want to come down here. We want to make sure that the foreground color, which is this black section right here, and also the background color, which is the, the white, we want it to be like this, where it's black as the foreground and white as the background. Okay? If not already, if they're switched between the two, you can just click on this double arrows right here, and it will switch between the two. So I stated before, we want the first one to be black and the second one to be white. Okay? And now we go to our rectangle. So it's right here. We click, uh, right click on the rectangle to get all these options. And we want to click on rectangle tool. So we click on the rectangle tool. And once it's highlighted and selected, we have many different options here to be able to change. So yours might be a little bit different. Just make sure that they're all the same here. So because I already made those changes, mine's going to stay the same. Okay. So I want this to be a shape. If not already, change it to shape. The fill, we want the fill to be black because of this foreground color to begin with. The stroke, we want the stroke to be nothing, which is none with this uh, line slash in the middle. And the brush size, we want it to be around like 10 or so. So mine's good. It's only a little bit higher. Okay. So now when we come down here, you can see this plus sign right here. And you don't want to start in the very beginning. You want to give it uh, 10 or 15% space from the outside being here and the same as down here. So I'm going to start right here and we are going to left click hold and drag it down and leave like a 10%. Well, I'm going to come down a little bit more because I'm, I'm planning on moving a little bit up. Okay. Just like so. And, and then drag it to the right on how big you want it. I think this looks appropriate just like so. And I'm going to release it. And as you can see, it's going to turn black. Okay. So as of now, you can't really move it around. You can't really do much. The very important next step that you have to do is you have to right click on it and you have to click on free uh, free transform path. OK, which I'm not going to click on which you can. Uh, there is a faster and shorter shortcut, which we are going to be using a lot throughout the whole video. So I would, I'm going to teach you how to use the shortcut. OK, so we're going to come back down to this black section right here. You have to click on any of this section within the rectangle to make sure that it's still highlighted. OK. And we're going to use the shortcut for the free transform where just control T, CTRL, the bottom left of the keyboard, and hold that down and tap T. Okay, as you can see, it changes to all these uh, square corners that we can actually make modification to. So if I want to, uh, if I'm hovering above it right here, I see these double arrows. If I were to left click, hold, and drag, it's going to keep everything proportional, meaning that. Um, if this rectangle, it's, it will stay a rectangle no matter how big or small it gets. So if I were to make it super small, it's still a rectangle. Okay. It, it keeps its, its shape. If I were to hold a shift button, I can actually, it will not stay proportional anymore. So if I want this to be a little bit longer, I'm holding the shift button down, left click, hold and drag. It doesn't keep it proportional. It just moves the, the thing up a little bit, which I think the latest version of Photoshop is awesome that they make that change.
they decided to, to make that change because it, it's more user friendly in my opinion okay so if you are using an older version of Photoshop it could be the opposite where if you hold the shift button down it stays proportional if you don't hold it it doesn't stay proportional okay so just like so and now if I were to hover around the corners one of these corners I will see these bended arrows double bended arrows and every left click hold and drag can actually move it around okay so I'm gonna have some fun a little bit I'm just gonna move the mouse 360 degrees so because you know it's the same up and down it doesn't really matter so I kinda like it like this slant it like that um, to begin with uh, but you can you know how it however you like um, let's see try to match the um, this thing right here so I, I did make it a slant to the left so we're gonna, we're gonna keep it like that okay just keep it consistent and now and I can actually move it around I can move it to the right you know left um, just to show you how cool it is okay so I like it the way it is and just pay attention to this section right here it's it's covering part of her arm which you will be see through in a little bit so when we are able to see the background with a see-through you'll be able to see just a small section of her arm okay now that I like this the way it is I'm gonna click on this check mark make sure you click on that check mark upper right hand corner towards the center okay perfect and you're gonna get this message it says this operation will turn a live shape into a regular path continue yes perfect just like that And now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the rectangle one right here. We want this rectangle one to be behind the Jessica Alba copy, which is Jessica A copy. So you, you can do it in two either ways. You can Now that the rectangle one is copy, I can left click, hold, and drag it below the Jessica copy. If the Jessica A copy was highlighted, I'm going to drag her up. It doesn't really matter. So one or two, I'm just going to drag it down. Okay, so we're going to left click, hold and drag, and you're going to see this turquoise line at the very bottom. That's when you know when to release, so we release it. And now the rectangle is behind the Jessica copy. So what we want to do next is we want to make sure to left click on the Jessica A copy to make sure that it's highlighted. And we right click on it, and we are going to click on creating map, uh, clipping mask. Okay, so... Uh, what that does is it will be able to conform that shape that we have in the background to this particular picture it will hide everything except for the shape of that thing so we're going to click on it as you can see we only see part of her shoulder right here which is okay we can't really move it around if we were to move uh, left click hold and drag right now it will just move the image in the background to match this image right here and it's not going to look as nice so we're going to keep it the way it is because we already like the location of this okay we're going to keep it like that and as i have stated before in all of my other videos which i'm going to keep on saying for you know all of my other videos too in the future is that to always always save our work okay because we never know when something will go wrong especially once we have dedicated 30 minutes to an hour of our time to try to to accomplish something of our image and it's not working right so we have to save our work because the program could be crashing right now it could be freezing on you the battery could die out good thing i have this plugged in so i don't have to worry as much it's still plugged in right now so um all in all just it doesn't take that long to to save our file so we're going to go ahead and do it okay we're going to go to file we are going to click on save and as you can see to the right hand side control s for save as we're going to click on it and we're going to name it appropriately okay so we want to name it something that will match whatever it is that we're doing okay so Jessica Alba and then we'll just put a uh, first panel and as you can see I have the first panel up here also so it's not gonna allow me to do so I'm gonna put first panel 2 and the first file we should name it as a, fo a Photoshop format always okay we're gonna click Save click OK since this is not my final work I don't want to save as a JPEG you know it's just a waste of space so as long as I have the other one I can always make changes and you know uh, turn into a JPEG if, if I so choose okay all right so now we have our first one and the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to make changes to the rectangle itself to make make it more alive make it more like 3d effects in or have shadows and strokes so we're gonna left click on it to highlight it and we're come, gonna come down here to where it says FX 
we'll just add a layer style we're going to click on it and click on blending options and it will bring up this uh, layer style and we're going to come down here instead of clicking on a check mark right here we're going to go directly in the center and we're going to click on it that will do both okay it will click it will uh, check put a check mark right there it will bring on the the drop shadow also so as you can see it already knows where my last save was from so we have this is the shadow the drop shadow so we were to go back to this thumbnail right here the drop shadow is you know turquoise we're going to keep it turquoise okay and i'm going to make the inner one blue just to keep it consistent but we can make any color that we want okay so we keep it turquoise opacity is how how um see-through it is so if the opacity is zero we won't be able to see anything it's as if we don't have any color at all so a hundred percent means that we're able to see it so i kind of like it around like 89 or so just keep it like that so it doesn't so it blends in with the her face also so that's what we're planning on doing uh later on if it blocks her face so it can be a little bit more see-through so we'll make this 100 percent and then make the distance uh get a little bit further right. so the distance is it's gonna be able to change um, the the location of this. It's almost as if it's casting a shadow to the left bottom left hand side. The sun's the upper right hand corner. It, now that it's the distance is far out, we can actually change the angle and we'll move the the distance around, changing the location of the sun. Okay, but I, I like the distance to be zero because it will keep everything centered and the spread. I like to spread a little bit further out. The reason why is because once we go to the stroke and have that uh, inner facing out it will not you know overpower the the shadow okay i like it the way it is now we're going to click on stroke anywhere in here it will automatically put a check mark right there so you can see it's purple now uh, we can change it to a different color if we want we're, we're going to try to keep it consistent we're going to change purple to blue we're going to left click right here and then go to the upper right hand corner click on okay so now it's blue okay so just like so and we've done it and now it's outside we can change the size of it to make it bigger if you want um now it's too big you know so you want to keep it to the point where it looks nice so i kind of like it like that where it's not too big or too small and we can still see the shadow just like so Go, click on okay and there you have it there's our first panel okay so this is where we you know are going to have a lot more fun once we start creating a second shadow a second panel to be able to see the image in the back okay so now we have reached a point where it's a good idea to save again and uh, it's a muscle memory so i would highly recommend you save every two to three minutes or so there is a shortcut and it takes literally one to two seconds okay so you hold the control button down ctrl with your keyboard and you tap s and you can see at the very bottom i'll say saving sometimes it's super fast you won't be able to see it at all and uh, as you can see it, it went through already okay perfect so now we because we like this the way it is we don't want to mess with it we don't want to keep on changing it so we are going to group the two so i have rectangle one already highlighted if i were to click on the jessica a copy right now it will deselect the first one and highlight that other one i want both of them to be selected okay so to do that i'm going to hold the control button down ctrl and then click on jessica a copy and now they're both highlighted and I want to group the two because I want the first panel to stay the same and I just want to be able to make changes to a second copy where it will you know hover over her, her other images okay let me just show you so let's group the two first we're gonna to go to layer we're gonna to go to new and we're gonna click on group from layers okay we're gonna click on it give it a name we're just gonna name it panel I think it's most appropriate and we're gonna click on okay and as you can see it got change to a panel so if I were to click on this arrow uh, facing the right hand side we're gonna click on it and it will expand and you will be able to see uh, what's inside which is just a copy and a rectangle one okay just like that All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink it back in because we don't want to make any changes to this first panel even though we could uh, by you know making more changes right here if we want let's just say we want to move it right so to move the the uh, panel instead of the other one what you want to do is you want to expand it click on the rectangle and you want to click on the move tool and then you want to click on control T on your keyboard to be able to have a, tra a free transform after that you can left click hold and drag to move the panel and as you can see right here you know we can move it anywhere that we want and just you know just even her face right there that looks nice but you know everything else is not nice <laughs> so we're gonna start right here with just her arm 
so this doesn't get cut out and I can actually just slant a little bit more too just like so okay and we're gonna always check on our check mark when, once you're satisfied so like I said we don't really want to make any more changes to it but you could if you wanted to we're gonna shrink it back in we are going to make a copy of it okay to make a copy of it of this group we're gonna left click hold and drag it down to this plus uh, sign with the square around it just like before and now you will see a new group called panel copy if we were to just expand that uh, click on a rectangle and then go to the move tool and after you click on it do not click on anything else go directly to your keyboard hold the control button down and tap T and it will be uh, it will create a new transform now we're transforming a second panel just like so so if I move were to move it around we will still be able to, to match the background it's not moving the background it's 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 just moving the the rectangle one okay so the idea is we don't want to to make her face cut get cut out so you just want to overlap these these uh, panels right here and we don't want the panels to line up either because it doesn't look as nice I mean if you want to you could but I kind of like it when it's dropped down a little bit just like so and and also rotate it a little bit too either this way or the other way I kind of like it look like that okay um, so we're gonna click on the check mark but you can rotate it however you want and now that we are happy and satisfied we're gonna control s again to save it and we're gonna let it save we are gonna shrink this back in and again we are going to make a, we are going to do the exact same thing we're gonna left click hold and drag but we're gonna make a copy of the the copy that we just did okay we're gonna left click hold and drag to this plus with the square around it release expand click on the rectangle one and then go to the move tool and control T and there you have it you have a third one so now very important that we uh, do not cover her face but this one does not fully cover her face because we're losing some of her hair due to this uh, you know shadow and also the the inner lines right here the blue one so we're gonna I, I want to make this bigger okay so just it covers her whole face which is the whole idea right so if I were to hover above this section I will see this double arrows right here if I were to left click hold and drag I said it before it will keep everything proportional so as you can see it's not just moving to the right hand side which I just want right I mean we could do it like that and do it like this where it's proportional but it, it doesn't look as nice because if you look at it it's like it's a straight line it's covering this first one and no we, we're just gonna move it back to what it was and we're just gonna hold the shift button so it doesn't say proportional okay so we're gonna hold the shift button and I can left click hold and drag so it's be like this if I were to drag it out further it will become like a you know a square so that's what I mean by not proportional it's okay so just like that so I kinda like it like that now I'm gonna release both of them now I can actually move it around a little bit and I'm gonna rotate it this way just to keep it looking nice and then I'm gonna move it that way a little bit just like that I think that looks pretty nice perfect we'll, we'll keep it like that and like I said you know for your photo you can do whatever you want uh, just move it around like that you already know how to move it so just you just have to hover over it this uh, bended arrows means that you can rotate it the other one this one it, you know allows you to move just like that okay we're gonna and feel free to pause the video anytime if you get stuck and um, yeah or, or go backward okay so we're gonna save it and we are going to do it again we're gonna shrink it we are going to left click hold and drag it down here to the plus sign with a square around it and move tool control T whoops I did something wrong okay so when I did the control T this whole thing got highlighted okay so I knew immediately that I did something wrong um, and now we're gonna have to fix it okay so I know I know what I did wrong uh, I totally forgot to expand the the piano copy 3 to just a rectangle that's why it selected the whole thing okay so we're gonna come back to the piano copy 3 click on the rectangle go to the move tool control T on the keyboard just like so so as you get better with Photoshop you will know sometimes you know we, we tend to forget certain steps and everything and there you go okay so 
Um, I want to make this a little bit smaller because we already have her face covered. So we're going to hold the shift button and then we are going to left click hold the drag right there. And now I'm going to move it outward. I'm going to move it down. We don't. Yeah, just like so. And we're just going to do it like that. So we don't really care much about the mic. I, I just want her shoulder to be, you know, covered up. The mic, we can care less about it. I can move it up just like that. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty really nice. So it's not, you know, it's not the same thing if it looks like that. It's, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look as enticing. So it's just like that. Okay, we're going to click on the check mark. Perfect. We are going to shrink it. So we probably need like one or two more. And then we're going to make another copy. You already know what to do. Expand. Uh, and then rectangle. Move tool. Control T. And there you have it. So up here, this one I can just move it to the left. Like that. Because there's nothing important here that we need. But I, I want to show the background a little bit to make it look, you know, kind of cool. And then we want to expand this out a little bit to make it bigger. So, you know, it looks like you can see the background, just like so. And we're going to click on the check mark. There you have it. Look at that. So I kind of want one more to make it cover the whole background. Because uh, we can't leave that bottle like that. It doesn't look as good. No, I'm just kidding. But we just I think it looks a lot better with that one. We're going to uh, shrink it. We're going to make a copy of it again. Expand it. And then click on rectangle. Move tool, control T. Okay, now we have a last one, just like so. And this one, we can make it go out of frame a little bit. Sometimes I think going out of frame actually makes it look kind of cool. So just like so, and then we have the whole bottle. And we're going to click on this check mark right here. So look at that. So now the background is kind of continuous, except for this mic right here, which we, we don't really care for, for. And there you have it. And if you want to make you know changes to the color also, you can. Just... Uh, so because I want to save this as my final work already, I'm going to save as final work first before I make any more changes because then afterward we can do a save as. The save as, it does not affect the original save at all. Um, it will, we can actually save it to a different location with a different name, obviously. And that's the beauty of save as. And there's no limit to the amount of save as you can do. Okay. Which I have showed, you know, everyone in my other videos too. But if you haven't seen in my other videos, um, that's why I wanted to say it over here. Okay, so we're going to go to file. We're going to click on save. So this will save from the original one, the original one that we already picked a location, the name for, and it says saving right now. Um, the reason why it's taking so long is because we have so many different layers. We have six different layers, you know, from the original one to copy five. We're going to let it finish saving because we don't want the program to crash. Most of the time when it's saving or it's doing something complex, and we try to hurry it up, it will crash the program. Okay, so now we're going to go to file. We're going to click on save as. Now we can actually save it as as a JPEG. Okay, so we're going to save as a JPEG. So we're going to name it Jessica Alba Completed Panel. Completed panel 1. Okay, because we already have this one. So we're going to click save. And now just just to show you where it got saved and so the beauty of of having save a file is that you already know that it got saved so you don't have to worry about making more modification to anything so if i were to mess up because i already saved this if i were to like move this around i messed up i made a mistake here make a mistake there but just click on the random stuff trying to learn about photoshop um so I'm just moving stuff around. So as you can see, what got changed was just the image in the background was just moving around from many different layers. And now the picture is not matching up and it doesn't look right. Unless I get lucky and, and Jessica Alba seems to be like right there. So this is just, yeah. So I, I can make it like that and it looks nice. You know, this this has, <laughs> you know, a different look by itself. Uh, we can actually just save this too, just 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 for perspective, okay? Because I, this was kind of unintended, but, you know, uh, it still looks as nice. You know, it has this special effects, too, of this dark darkness. We're going to go to save as. We're going to save this computer. We're going to panel 3. Okay? So just like so, but I want to save this as a JPEG. Just like so. So when we do come back to look at it, 
so Jessica Alba. And as you can see also, uh, I am preempting of what we're going to do next, Denzel Washington for tomorrow. So after Denzel Washington, we are going to do Taylor Swift. Oh, there we go. It's coming back right here. Going to go okay. Okay, so we're going to let it save real quick. That's going to take some time. So if I, we were to go back right here to, so yeah, as I was saying, Denzel Washington, Taylor Swift, and LeBron James. So these are, you know, my future videos I'm going to do. I'm only going to do like 15 each of the same effects. So for the vertical panel effects, I'm only going to do 15 of them. Then we're going to go to a different effect with 15 different people. And uh, then we're going to continue on. Okay. So let me just show you guys real quick. Of, uh, so Jessica Alba right here, main content. And we have completed one. Okay. That was our first one right here. So the work is done. So we don't have to worry about you know making any kind of mistakes or anything as you can see this was our first one that we got saved okay so and then we're going to minimize it we are going to go to the second one which hasn't been saved yet or third it's called a third okay just like that there you go so this is the one that we totally made a mistake in and it was like all jumbled up but i was able to find you know a nice portion and just better put our face right there and it looks pretty nice too but it's not going to be like our final work or anything, right? So that's the beauty of Save As, okay? So as stated before, you can actually make changes to these colors if you wanted to. So panel 5 is this this last one right here. Panel copy 5. If I were to click on the rectangle itself, click on the FX, go to blending options, I can actually change the color from a drop shadow. I can change it to red, okay? And then the stroke, I can actually change the stroke to green just to make it a little more dramatic so you can actually see what I mean and there you go it has been changed okay so you just gotta kind of know which panel belongs to which one so we were to work backward if I were to want to change this one the color of Jessica Alba right there right so we know that five is this one so four and then three so this would be panel copy three is the one that we want to make changes to okay so uh, it's the one right here. It's already expanded. So we're going to click on that rectangle right there. FX, blend options. And then right here, drop shadow. We can change this one to yellow. Okay, we're going to change to yellow. And then stroke, we're going to change the stroke. As you can see, it got changed already. Uh, we're going to change this color to purple. Okay, we're going to click on OK. And there you go. And that looks pretty majestic, right? And there you have it. So uh, let's just say this is was our, our third save that we actually want to keep within the same project. So again, we are going to go to File, Save As. Let's not affect the original two. We are going to give it a different name. It has to be a different name. And it could be a different location if we wanted to, but we want to keep it in the right same location. So we're going to, we can name it three, but we want to keep it, we want the name to match what it is that we want. So uh, we're going to give it completed. Completed panels with different color or just different color colors, okay? Just like so. So, and I, I want to go directly to uh, JPEG. I can actually just save this too, as I would highly recommend if if this was your third option that you really really like to save it as the the original Photoshop format first which is right here and then you save it as a JPEG because in that case you're able to to make changes to these uh, different layers if you so choose in the near future or in the future okay so now we're gonna let it save again like I said it does take a while sometimes because uh, we have many different layers we have like a total of six in total and all the different things and it doesn't take that long just like five ten seconds and now we go to file again click on save as save to this computer now we can just change it to JPEG and click on save. We're going to let it save real quick. And there you have it, guys. So I'm going to show you in a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet or, or smashed that like button, if you could uh, just smash that like button and all the my other videos, if you could, spend a little bit of time, it would really help the channel in terms of uh, allowing this video to be viewed by a lot more people because without those likes 
YouTube algorithm does not know to promote you know a certain video if it doesn't have likes so um, I really do need some likes so if, if you could be nice and uh, there you have it so we're gonna let this finish saving real quick and I will also be putting this on Facebook too okay okay so let me just show you guys of all the different things so here's a the panel one with all the different colors I save it as a JPEG there you go. So many different colors. All right. This is our third save. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a, a great and amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.